In Leviticus 4, we have the procedures for the sin offering. Then the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. This is how you are to deal with those who sin unintentionally by doing anything that violates any of the Lord's commands. And it makes you wonder, what about the intentional sins? This obviously applies to unintentional sins, those not in outright rebellion to the Lord. But what about the sins that are intentional? It's a great question. See, under the Old Covenant, there was no payment sufficient for the one who intentionally or defiantly sinned against the Lord. Justice had to be done. Man, aren't you thankful for the new covenant in Jesus Christ? A covenant where forgiveness is available for every sin. I know I am. The other thing that is so interesting about this chapter is that God directs a sin offering for four different groups, the priest, for Israel as a whole, for the rulers, and for common people. From the highest to the lowest in the land, God cared about the sins of his people. For the priest, the offering was a young bull without blemish. A similar offering was specified for the whole of Israel with one exception. The elders of the congregation pressed in and laid their hands on the head of the bull. The significance was leaning on or depending on the sacrifice, as we now depend upon Jesus, the sacrifice for our sin. For a ruler of Israel, the offering was a lesser animal, a young goat, demonstrating that the ruler was not greater than the priest or the people. Then for the common people, a female goat or lamb could be offered. But in all the offerings, the reference to blood is unmistakable. That should remind us today that Jesus died a bloody death for you and I, forever linking him with the Levitical sacrifices that came before, a preview of his great atoning work for us. Jesus told his disciples in establishing the sacrament of communion, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. So let's be thankful today for our new covenant in Jesus Christ.